Ethics and Crisis Management, Social Media. As a coach, you may think that communication involves solely face-to-face -face interaction. However, coaches communicate by phone, email, written messages, appearances on media such as radio or television. Coaches may also communicate through social media. Social media is defined as any type of shared social interaction between individuals, groups, and companies via the internet. It includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, videos on YouTube, blogs, and podcasts, as well as many others. Facebook and Twitter have become major ways of communicating with athletes and fans. Coaches may use social media for various reasons. One reason is that social media allows them to keep in touch with their fans. They can inform fans of upcoming events. Next, coaches may use social media to keep themselves informed about the public's perception of the team. Keep in mind that coaching is not a profession where you can make everyone happy. So be prepared for harsh words and criticism, especially during poor seasons. Coaches may use social media to communicate with sponsors, donors, and other media outlets. Coaches may use it to recruit athletes, but be sure to abide by your governing body's policies. Social media can also be used to keep members of the team informed by having a team page with important information, such as tryout times, competitions, and special events. Coaches may also use social media to help monitor their athletes. Athletes of all ages are going to use some form of social media. Because of this, other media outlets continually patrol these sites looking for the next big story. There have been several occasions where athletes have broken the big story inadvertently due to a comment or a tweet. They may have released confidential information about a player's injury, coaches leaving or being fired, players transferring, or disgruntled players. Such stories should be addressed through the individual themselves or by the organizations they involve through formal press releases. In order to help prevent negative information reaching social media, it is important to educate your athletes and create policies to help them know what is acceptable. Develop a policy that permits and encourages athletes to use social media to communicate with family and friends. Educate your athletes about acceptable and responsible use of social media and the potential dangers of inappropriate use. Remind your athletes that they represent your team and institution when using social media, just as they would in any other manner. If allowed by your school or organization, ask your athletes to add you or other coaches in order to monitor your athletes and also communicate with them. Make sure to ask your athletes to set their privacy settings to keep their identity information safe. Require athletes to show the same respect for your team, institution, and other people, just as you do. To do this, do not post offensive or inappropriate videos, photos, or comments. Do not disseminate information that is in violation of the team code of conduct. And finally, do not post content that is in violation of school policy. If there is ever any doubt, don't post it. With a written policy in place, when social media violations occur, consider the following discipline. On the first offense, explain to the athlete what material was offensive and why. Also require the athlete to remove it. Second offense, A, send a written notification requiring, requiring the offending content to be removed, or B, the account to be deactivated. If the athlete refuses to comply with A or B, the athlete should be temporarily suspended until he or she does comply. Third offense, team member is dismissed from the team. Now this is just a guide. Every situation will need to be handled differently depending upon what the offensive message was and if it personally attacked someone. Keep in mind that your actions as a coach or an athlete can have long-term consequences, even legal consequences, in regards to the things you post and tweet. 
Many colleges and universities use social media to help them recruit athletes. Some athletes have lost potential scholarships by degrading their teammates or coaches on social media. Another example of how social media can impact you is Laramie Tunzel. Just minutes before the NFL draft, a video surfaced on Tunzel's verified Twitter account showing the offensive lineman wearing a gas mask and smoking from a bong tape to it. The tweet was quickly deleted, but the damage was done. The video had went viral, and the teams interested in Tunzel started to decline. Some reports say that that one tweet cost him around $10 million in potential salary. Along with monetary losses, the misuse of social media can also result in the loss of respect from your coaches, teammates, family, and friends. As we all know, once respect is lost, it is hard to earn back. Keep in mind that the proper use of social media is vital by all members of the team, even the coach. Remember that nothing on the internet is ever fully deleted, so be sure to think before you click.